To install a bootloader on your Ender 3, you're going to need the wrench that comes with your Ender 3 to open the case. You're going to need an Arduino Uno. If you don't have one, borrow one because they're kind of expensive. A computer, and of course these pin header cables. You're going to need one male to female and five female to female, but I don't have any female to female. So you can use a breadboard to convert male to females into female to females. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the Arduino IDE software. This will work with any operating system. I'm just using Linux for this demonstration, but if you're using Linux for real, specifically Ubuntu, don't download the version of Arduino IDE from the software center. It's old and doesn't work. Once you've installed the Arduino IDE and launched it, you're going to want to go to Sketch, Manage Libraries, and once the Libraries list downloads, you're going to want to search for U8Glib. Scroll down to the bottom of the list and install U8Glib. And once that's done, you can go ahead and close. Next, you're going to want to go to File, Preferences, and next to where it says Additional Board Manager URLs, you're going to want to open that little icon. Now, go to Google and type in Sanguino Board or something similar, you're going to want to get to this page, this GitHub page, Lousis slash Sanguino. Click on that page, then scroll down and find the file called package underscore Lousis underscore Sanguino underscore index dot JSON. Click on that, and then to the right of the page, click on raw. Now you're going to want to copy this URL. Now you can go ahead and paste that URL into the additional board manager URLs window and click OK. Press OK again, and now you can go to Tools, Board, Arduino, Uno, then go to Board Manager, and search for Sanguino. Press Install, and wait for it to download. Once that's done, you can hit Close, and then you can close out Arduino. When you're ready, and you've connected your Arduino Uno to your computer, launch the Arduino IDE, and go to Examples, Arduino ISP and load the Arduino ISP project. Now go to Tools and verify that your board is set to Arduino Uno and your serial port is also set to be the Arduino Uno. Now you can press Upload. And after a short wait, your Arduino Uno should now be set up as a programmer. Now it's time to connect the Uno to the Ender 3. We'll start out by placing the Arduino Uno, which is plugged in, underneath of the Ender 3, like so. This will allow you to more easily visualize where the pins should go, since they match each other perfectly in this orientation. Here's a little wiring diagram I found. As you can see, you're just going to be attaching each pin to their respective pin, except for the top left pin, which should go to the Arduino board pin 10. You can now start by connecting the pins together. I highly recommend doing the bottom right pin last, as that's the power pin, and when you plug it in, the Ender 3 will turn on. If you actually have the correct cables, you can go directly to the Arduino. You don't have to go to the breadboard like I'm doing. Once you plug in that final bottom right pin, the yellow one in the diagram, your Ender 3 will power up and the screen will turn on. Now it's time to go back to the computer and flash the bootloader to the Ender 3. Open up the Arduino software, then go to Tools, Board, and make sure Sanguino is selected. Then go down to Processor and select AT Mega 1284 16MHz. Now all you have to do is go to Tools and press Burn Bootloader. At the bottom of the Arduino IDE you'll see some status, and when it says Done, you're done. Disconnect all your cables, then power on your Ender 3. If you see a blank screen, that means you did everything right. Your Ender 3 is now ready to be flashed with any firmware you choose. I may cover that in a future video, but for now, that's it.